Welcome to the channel everybody, my name is Ryan and this is RimWorld and we're visiting our toxic waster colony today. Good old Missile, now this is our latest prisoner. He was dropped in on us in a drop pod thanks to Randy and he is in fact of the right Xenotype. He is a waster so we are going to, and he's a good pawn too, a melee guy with the mining and plants. Also a little bit of social. Can't do any intellectual, but that's okay. He also can't craft. I just realized that. That kind of sucks. Uh, means he can't really stone cut or scan or research for us. But in his downtime, we'll just have him train. I guess. Melee. That is an option, fortunately, is training here. I believe this particular category is brought to us by the mod... Uh, here that allows us the shooting target and the martial arts target really fantastic recreational additions to let's see what's this mod called miscellaneous training yeah i highly recommend this one too if you just want a couple of simple recreation things or you know shooting and melee training because that that does help your pawns increase their skill when they do this and they get phenomenal recreation from it now i don't have any cloth shooter set up right now at least i think we did at one point but they also love these quite a bit what i like to do is set them somewhere where it's relatively safe because the colonists i mean if you've got it set up in a way so that people will walk through this particular area it is dangerous because they will get shot so let's see maybe if i whoops put it like right here yeah, that's probably a little safer. Put it right there. Some of our colonists will stand right here and they don't even have to go outside the walls. Now you may be noticing too that there's a lot of toxic waste here. Let's take a quick peek. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, looking good. We've also got plans to start moving all our waste packs. I'm gonna start lining them up here. This is uh, basically a strategy that was recommended so that uh, any raiders uh, who come from this direction will have to go through basically a constant stream of toxic waste all the way up to our door. And I'll extend it in other directions too. So that's pretty sweet. Great comments, guys. Appreciate everybody who's been commenting. Even if you don't com uh, comment, I appreciate you nonetheless. So let's see. Look at this. We've got a school. I, you know what? Oh, what did we make? Legendary leather pants. Great. Uh, we do need to upgrade this room. We've got so many kids now. I bet you that, that yeah, I was thinking about doing it. Um, this room right here is going to be for our crafting facility. So we're upgrading this. Um, we just got the ability to make advanced components and stuff. So I think I want to have like a whole separate room for crafting. Because we're going to have to set up multiple uh, fabrication benches at some point. So this room's way too small. It's not really, what is this? Oh, oh, conversion. I'm sorry. I couldn't read it. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't think this room is really all that much of an upgrade over this room. So what I might do is let's just extend the room a bit. There we go. So we'll bring it in line with this one. And then we can... Are these marble walls? Marble's in very short supply. I'm actually going to switch that over to granite. We won't get as much beauty factor for it, but it's, yeah, it's better for us overall. Okay, get that set up too. Very nice. So, you can see what we're going for. Also, I think here, it's good to just get, be proactive with your roof support. So, if I go to structure and I grab a granite column, put that right in the center. Because I know from experience, and I'm sure many of you do, some probably don't though, but uh, if you've got a room that is anything bigger than 11 in either direction, the roof won't support it. So this is a perfect 11 by 11 square. Now, if I, I can go in either direction, as long as I maintain an 11, this roof won't collapse because it's supported right here. But if, for instance, I was to get rid of that, if we do a 12 by 12, that's going to collapse. Part of this middle section will fall because that's just too big. So you'd need to bring that down to an 11 in either direction. Or, you know, alternately, you can set up a room size like 15 by 15, which is one of my more, more common room sizes that I use. I'll explain in just a second why. You can just put the roof support right in the center like I did here. And the reason I like this particular size is because you can set down 
a trade beacon right in the center of this and it's not perfect it's not a perfect fit because it's a weird circular you know uh uh <laughs> it's a world's weird circular uh shape so it's not perfect but it's still good gives you a little extra room on the sides you can slap in some statues or something but anyway there's that that's why i always use that room size 15 by 15 or 11 by 11 typically now the 11 by 11s are also really good because they will fit one of these little grow lamps perfectly as well um, there's a little space left over so i often do kind of trim it down so it's like this but either way in a in a sense you're wasting space because you've got this unnecessary room right here now i have considered before setting this up like dig this out you could dig out this little area right here it doesn't even need to be anything big put a door right here structure right there and then you've got a little prison cell and again it's not a great one but if you're trying to like convert somebody or whatever that'll that'll i think decrease their mood quite a bit i think that actually is beneficial not when you're trying to recruit them you want their mood to be high, but if you're trying to convert them to your ideology, then having a low mood, I think, is a benefit when that happens. So, speaking of prisoners, we've got this one. Now, this person, not sure why. I, would, I can't remember why I left them alive, <laughs> but I just realized, too, when I was looking at it, that we will actually get a relations gain if we release this person and normally at the waster colony we don't care a thing about that but this particular faction is definitely one i think i want to get in good with long blades yeah because i'll show you here real quick on the world map we have the worst trading partners uh unless we can get the pigs on our side look at this they got one two three four cities right here like all within a nice little circle of us. In fact, they're seated, seated on the road pretty well, too. So there we go. That's what I'm aiming for. So I think, in other words, I might release this person. I will be the very first prisoner we've released the entire series. Ooh, man, look at her go. Little Sienna the Dirt Mole. Or no, she's a waster. Just don't tell her. You know, she's not a true waster. She's going quick. Where are you going? Get back here. Get to work. What are you doing? Oh, feeding baby food to Shackleford. Poor Shackleford. Um, you know, at some point, I don't know. Do we really need her doing the child care? I guess we kind of do. There's only four total people, including her. <laughs> okay, yeah, we'll let her keep going. Uh, I was going to stop her from doing it, just have her mind, but she's super fast at it. She won't take her long. She's, uh, she's definitely going to be our specialist, too, as long as we don't find anybody else more qualified before she gets old enough. Let's see. I think she's got two more years, right? 13 is the age when they finally become, like, adult, quote-unquote, just at least in terms of their work capabilities. So I hope the same is true for the specialist role. Like, can we turn her into a specialist? I've already tried it now. It won't let me do it when she's a child. So I roll, yeah, she can't. So what does it say? Cannot be child. So I'm hoping 13 is that cutoff point. We'll find out. You know, early on in the playthrough, because we've got the Fog of War mod installed, I decided not to use the wildlife tag too much, just because, you know, it's kind of cheating in a sense. If you're trying to use Fog of War, why would you come in here and just look at everything that's listed? But... I decided to pull it up just because I want to see if we've got rats on the map, and we do. Now, I have no idea where they're at because the Fog of War does disable the ability to like zoom in on them if you click it. So right now I'm double clicking these, but they don't, it won't go to them. So we don't know exactly where they're at, but I really think I want to send Hero out. He sucks at it. He's still like a zero, but man, I want him to try and tame some. Number one, he needs to practice, and I think that's probably a decent animal to work on. But we also need him around the colony, man. We do worship rats here, so it would just help everybody's mood in general. I don't know. Maybe I'll wait, though. I, I might... Oh, crap. Somebody's having a social fight. I might just wait till uh, Hero gets to be an adult. I'm a little nervous, but that would that's just so long. You know, so many more years. 
Oh well, let's just put it off for now. Maybe we'll get some rats to trade or something. Oh, well that wasn't a very long fight. Good, good. Nobody lost their weapons or anything. Alright. Oh, <laughs> I thought Me Gizmo was coming to release Meatball. Never mind, he just came to grab some... Uh... Oh, he's tending to these idiots. Okay, well Meatball is ready to go. She is fully healed, walking around naked as the day she was born. So I think it's uh, time, that's, that's as good a time as any to release her into the wild jungle, right? And of course, she's not wearing one of our gas masks. I was hoping they would put those on, but oh well. At this point, even if she did, I would probably just take it off of her. So hey, Snuff, why don't you come do this? Okay, there you go. Poor Meatball, there she goes. And we're going to lose sight of her. Um, well, maybe not. Yeah, we did. Okay, we lost sight of her. But I'm sure we'll still get the little notification telling us we got some sort of faction influence for that. So I'm really glad for that. Let's see how Missile's doing. Now, here's the deal. He's got 16 resistance. But our good buddy Snuff here has word of trust. There it is. Hit him up. So he's at 16, right? Something. 16.5. Let's watch how far this goes. Boom, 4.5. Huge. That word of trust is a really, really fantastic spell to have. Okay, we won't get to use it, unfortunately, very much, just because we don't often see wasters that we can recruit. But the sooner, there we go. Okay, we just got 12 more. So, But the sooner we can get a uh, missile to join us, the safer I'm going to feel, because I'm worried, you know, prisoners can break out or go into berserk uh, rages and stuff, which is never very good, especially if you're trying to keep them alive. Okay, well, speaking of missile, we've got him a plastic, uh, plasteel longsword coming. Not a plastic one, plasteel. Uh, here we go. What did she make? Oh, only good gizmo? What the heck's wrong with you? I don't know, maybe she doesn't like missile all that much or something. I was ex hoping for an excellent quality, but we will manage. I have a feeling, even if it's just good, it's going to be a pretty devastating weapon. Plasteel longswords are usually right up there in terms of melee. Let's see. It, of course, this will change once it gets in the hands of a capable melee person, but 13.08... What is this one at? Let's see. Again, this is probably higher because he's holding it. But, oh no, it's pretty low. Maybe that is because he's holding it. And he's not that great at it. That could be. I'm not sure. Where you at, buddy? Let's put that theory to the test. Come here. I want you to drop that sword real quick. Okay, so he was like at a, what, 8 something? Yeah, now it's a 12.8. So, in fact, that Plasteel Longsword is better than this, just at a base level. There we go. Still, it's awesome. Having a mono sword on a child, I think, is a great, great theme. It's definitely in theme for this uh, colony. <laughs> well, Hiroshi is still recovering from the murderous rampage he went on, where he decided to betray his entire colony of friends and family. But um, despite that, I've got him over here, and he's gaining a side level. What'd you get, buddy? Invisibility! That's good, actually. That's a nice trait. Or spell, or whatever. Let's see, manipulates the visual centers of everyone nearby, rendering them unable to perceive a particular individual. Yeah, so you can use that one on other people. I'm gonna actually up his side focus a bit. Don't want to fully max it out. How a snuff look? Yeah. Snuff needs a little bit more, too. But um, this is a good one, because I'm pretty sure it's not like your standard like D&D &D rules-based invisibility. I think you can still shoot with it and stuff. Yeah, you can go invisible and still... Uh, I'm pretty sure. It's been a while, but yeah, get out of here. Go. Oh, look. See how much we have left over? Ten. After that ritual, we have ten left over. To be fair, though, we did have more than twenty when the ritual started. But still, that's pretty damn good less than half the time they've got to take to get the next one up okay let's see oh a vagabond quest well 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 let's see if randy's blessed us with any more wasters who we can uh kidnap let's check it out where are they at here we go oh boy i see a furry i see some pale individuals you look like a dirt mole there let's check them out what are their dirt mole Oh, a tough one. With no combat ability. Yitakin. Holland's a baseliner. 
Etican baseliner. Oh, that's sad. What do they want? I've, I didn't even look. I was just so, like, hungry for a waster here. Let's see. You can right-click it on stomp. Oh. <laughs> 70 herbal. Yeah, we'll do that. Oh, definitely. In fact, I've probably got more ready to be harvested. Where is it? Oh, maybe not. Nope, never mind. I literally have none, not even planted. So ee, it's a little touchy giving them up that much, but it's okay. We'll be fine. Of course, I'm all, I've said this many times, but I'm of the theory that the more of these you complete, the more of them you get. And even though we are an evil colony at heart, we're still fulfilling most of these because I want a good, I want, it's like a smorgasbord, you know? If we need bodies or if they happen to have a waster, we can kidnap them. So it's always nice to have extra people show up to the colony for good or ill. There we go. Give them the medicine. Abandoned lab. All right. No worries. And this probably is like the fourth or fifth time beggars have shown up. And I think only once did I actually kidnap them or the person. Yeah. In fact, it was uh, Sienna. She is one of the ones we kidnapped. So there you go. And we love her, too. Well, now, this is pretty nice. Oh, I just realized we got Plasteel sitting out here. Yeah, but this is great. We got ourselves a bulk goods trader just showed up. So that will be helpful. I don't think they're tribal, either. Uh, oh, they might be. Crap. Oh, I think they actually are. Yeah, they're wearing tribal stuff. Dang it, they got Pimmican on them. Ah, oh, well. Maybe they'll have some stuff we need. I doubt it, but... Oh, that's the group of beggars. I was like, who the hell's that? We've got some elephants up here. Those are looking pretty tasty. Let's see, how's our freezer? Well, it's not looking terribly bad. We did just recently use a psychic animal pulser to uh, help repel a raid. So we've still got some corpses here. No reason to go out of our way right now to kill some elephants, I think. In fact, we might be able to purchase some food from these guys. We'll see. That might be one of the few things they actually have. I don't know. Now, what's cool, though, is uh, Raider literally just, like, moments before these guys arrived, just got a quest here. Or, uh, inspiration, I mean. Trade. I wonder if the, f if the toxicity is affecting any of these guys. Not yet. They are walking right through it, but I guess that's too short of an exposure time. All right, so let's see here. See, they don't even have... Oh, they do have some meat. Okay. That's not bad. I'll take all of it. What else you guys got? Well, we've got tons of raw fungus, so that's actually really nice. No, they have no components. Damn it. Nor do they have any chem fuel. And I don't even think they have any steel with them. God, I hate tribal bulk goods traders. What's the point, you know? Let's see. Do they have, um, I'm going to keep the heart. Let's see. For now, at least. Nope, they don't have any gold. Yeah. All right, so let's just get rid of some of our lazy textiles here that we're not using. Not the human leather. Okay, get rid of that. Now, I'll trade them some of our clothing. Backpacks. There we go. Perfect. All righty. Now you guys can leave. No need for you to stick around. Just, just go already. All right, that's good. Some good meat. And this is shaping up pretty well. Sienna's doing her job. I just noticed how many trees are over here. You know, how much stone do I have? 650. I'm tempted to go ahead and just pave all this over right now. Let's take a look. There's really no reason to have it. I don't see it. There it is. Um, yeah, I can get it just about there. That'll, that'll be good enough. Good start. But yeah, there's a lot of trees right here. It's funny. It's like every time I need wood, I just go outside the compound. <laughs> and that's basically allowed our trees to grow and grow and grow. That's kind of a nice little bonus there. But uh, let's see. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot of gardening people. So it's really getting to be a struggle. Let's see. Clope is uh, learning. So he's definitely getting better, but he's still a child. That's one of the reasons missile is so important to us here, too. Look at his hair. Oh, this guy has great hair. I like him even better now. All right, missile. How much further you got, buddy? Point three, coming right along. Coming right along. 
And there he is, the man with the haircut. He has joined the colony. Welcome, welcome to our newest waster. Yes, sir. Look, he's going right for that shield. No, he's going for the shock lance. Well, that's not bad, sir. But I want you to grab this weapon, too. Oh, yes. Uh, we don't have any plasteel or any kind of armor for him right now, but we will. Him and Hero are both going to be getting some full armor. First, they're the priority. Of course, melee always gets the priority in my colonies, just in terms of armor. But, yeah, this is fantastic. So, of course, there's a couple of things we need to do with him. I'm going to copy over by Phasic. Post it there. Now, since he was a member of the gas bags, it's highly unlikely he's got a natural background. Nope. Artistic morbid. No problem. What's his bio again? Undergrounder. Huh. All right. So I'll go through his work tab real quick. Get this all set. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now, as I mentioned, I, he can't really do research or stone cutting. So I've got him just basically training at the end here, which is fine. That means he'll just go to that melee thing and just train on it get real good but he can clean so that's actually really nice i got him set so he won't do as much hauling as he will cleaning and the reason for that is because we are currently expanding the uh mechanoids right now oh yeah i've got five basic sub cores made and she is currently installing one of them right now so we're going with three lifters and two militaries you know i'm thinking i'm going to switch that yeah, so we'll go, because I currently have a lifter already. She's got one she started with. So that'll give us three lifters total, and then we'll have three Militors too. And that will pretty much wipe out her bandwidth. Wait, actually, yeah, 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 that'll wipe out her bandwidth. So we'll need to get some more. But, of course, we're going to work on that as we go. What is that under? Miscellaneous or biotech, probably. Yeah, band node. So I'll need to construct some of these. I just got to figure out where I want to put them. This is one of those items that just like you need a lot of space for it, but once you lay it down, you can pretty much just ignore it, you know, forever. So we'll probably do it over here, maybe down in this corner. If I continue to dig out looking for different resources, put it down there probably. But anyway, that's going to do it for this one, guys. We have made some significant progress here. Thankfully, uh, we've got a new addition, so I'm pretty pumped about that. Every extra helping hand is a big, big deal. Look, he's already in the garden. So perfect. All right, guys, leave me some comments down below. Hit that like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And I will see you guys on the next episode.